Hey guys, what's up? I uh, just want to give you an update on the last racing block that we did. Um, last time I wrote was after Nationals. And I decided to do something different uh, because I suck at writing. Therefore, I figure talking would be a little bit better. Although, I now I'm finding that talking into a camera by myself is not as easy as it looks. So bear with me. Um, so... After Nationals, we went to Knoxville for a few days, which was amazing. We stayed in this really cool house on Airbnb. It was like a barn down below and a house up top. Um, we trained there uh, in the Smoky Mountains with uh, one of my teammates, Clay Murphy, who lives there. Um, and it's amazing training. So if anyone gets a chance to go out there, it's just awesome. Small highways. The f drivers were really friendly. Saved a turtle. Saved two turtles, actually, and a snake, so I'm pretty much a hero now. Um, Stephen Hyde witnessed it, so he went to Cyclocross Worlds, if you're wondering. He witnessed me save a turtle, so I don't know what that makes me, but it's good. Um, and then after that, we drove to Winston-Salem, North Carolina, which was the next race in the block. Um, it started with a crit and ended with a road race the next day. Um, the crit I didn't do because we can only have six riders versus eight in the road race the next day. Uh, the team rode really well. It was basically just uphill for a few blocks and then downhill for a few blocks. Um, we were in all the breakaways of the day and then the final breakaway that stuck, Jake Sittler was there and they ended up lapping the field and the guys were able to lead him out and get him uh, fourth place just off the podium but with the field that was there, it's an awesome result. And I think Ryan Aitchison was sixth right behind him. So they were able to lead him out and have Ryan right there. Um, the next day, there was eight of us starting. Pretty hilly road race. I think about 10,000 feet of climbing in 100 or so miles. Uh, just up and down. Really technical turning. Super cool course. I believe there was a live feed. I don't know that it's there now, but you can check it out. If it's on YouTube, there would be a live feed. I'll try to put it on my uh, blog page as well if there is one. Um, my job uh, with a couple other guys, we were just on breakaway control, breakaway duty, trying to get in the brakes. Um, we were in a lot of moves early on. Uh, Jake Sittler made an early move that stayed away for a couple laps. And then when it came back, he still had awesome legs, and the rest of us were not as awesome. So he got in the next move too and uh, was riding really well. So we were comfortable in the group. And then turns out Jake came around a corner doing about 40 miles an hour and hit a pothole and went down and unfortunately broke his collarbone. Um, so the rest of us had to try to get in the moves or pull back the break. Um, it was a really hard, hot day. Uh, unsuccessfully, we didn't make it up to the front group. Um, burned energy doing some other stuff, trying to get in the moves, but just we just missed it, and that's all there was. So tried to salvage what we could. There was about, I think, 15 guys up the road, 16 maybe at this point. So in the final lap, we just tried to lead Brecht into the final climb. Uh, Clay did an awesome job taking him right up the line. And then Brecht ended up 20th. Uh, I don't know where I was, far behind that. But um, it was a good day. I mean, kind of bad luck for us having Jake crash. Other than that, the team was riding pretty awesome. Uh, Max was coming back from an injury at Nationals. He crashed and his hip was still bugging him. So just trying to get in there. Um, Amber Brown, my beautiful wife, was great in the feed zone as our swan year, giving us bottles. So that was appreciated as well as Ryan. And then Max, as other guys got dropped, they helped, which was great because it was really hot out. Um, yeah, and then we packed up and headed for Philly. Uh, some of the guys went to... Jake Sittler's house to stay with his family for a few days, and then Amber and I went up and rode a lot in Philadelphia, in around Gettysburg area, and then in downtown. So really cool area. If you have a chance to go ride there or just visit, there's a lot of just history that's pretty awesome. So yeah, um, that was an update from Winston Salem. Let me know if you have questions. Um, I want to make these videos more exciting than boring. So check it out.